must have been a bit windy. No, there's plenty of feet around, can't keep on top of it. I see the paddock are loosened down here and the sheep farmer in me tells me that I should be putting lambs on it and then that's hands down the best thing about this mark. This was obviously the bit that we were gonna try and re-sow this year. We'll get rid of them just by cutting them, cutting them back again and being a bit smarter with grazing this year. Good morning everyone. What's going on today? A bit windy today. I think it's meant to be about 22 or 3 degrees. And I'm just about to go cut some of our loosen. Blowing a gale, which is not a bad thing. So the loosen's going into silage this first cut. There's a few thistles in it and things. Thistles will actually, they're quite sweet, but because, I guess because they're spiky, the, the livestock don't eat them. But, well, apart from the camels. That's another thing too. Dad, um, Dad actually shifted the camels the other day into a paddock with a few thistles in it. And the first thing they did was went and eat the heads off the thistles. First thing, as soon as you put them in there, which I thought was pretty cool. And the paddocks that they've been in, uh, that had, you know, a, fair, a few thistles in them last year, there's none there this year. So, there you go, it is working. It um, probably would be good to get a couple more, but they're, they're, doing a good, they're doing a good job at the moment anyway. I just got to hook the other mower up actually, which is behind here, which is annoying because I've got to shift both these things. So, get a few things fired up. few of the silage bales, oaten bales there. They're starting to smell now, so. Well, it must have been a bit windy. Branch come off the tree here somewhere. I'll we'll deal with you later. Plenty of feed around anyway. This is all Phalaris and Coxwood in here. There's a little bit of fescue in there by the look of it, but. No, there's plenty of feed around, can't keep on top of it, but that's a good thing. Be interesting to see what this loosen looks like. I, I did four laps around it the other day, and if you follow me on Instagram, I post there sort of pretty well daily on my stories and things, just you know, if you want to follow the in between bits. But I did four laps around the outside of this loosen paddock, but it was just a bit wet, so I ended up pulling out and going home. But um, so I bailed that the other day, we've got six bars around the outside there, but it'd be interesting to see what how it's come back like. There is a few thistles in this in this paddock, but they'll they'll actually sweeten up in the silage, and the cattle will be interesting to see if the sheep eat it. But the cattle definitely will. But um, yeah, this first cut that's why I'm making this first cut in the silage, and the second cut should be pretty clean. As you fellas that grow loosen know already, but for those of you that don't, the first cut will get all rid of all the weeds usually, and then uh, not that there's many, just a few thistles. But uh, then the second cut, the loosen will sort of get ahead of everything and uh, should be pretty clean then. And that's where you make your sort of horse quality hay. Whether we can this year, who knows, it's hard to say. I see the paddock are loosened down here and the sheep farmer in me tells me that I should be putting lambs on it and then the uh, hay contractor side tells me that I should be making hay out of it. But yeah, I just don't know whether we'll get the weather to make good quality hay. I do have the drone with me, but the way the wind is, I don't know if I'll be game to put it up. We might be uh, down a drone by the end of the day. There's not many trees around, but we might take it all the way back to the highway. So I had the ram sale on Thursday, which uh, depending on how I do it, this video may come out before that. But yeah, it went really well. We'll have a few rams to deliver next week. Out to, uh, we've got to go out to Young, Wanabadri, Burrawa, Bungandor, yeah, there's a few. Got to do a bit of a trip, whether we do that all at once. It's a fairly long trip if we do it all at once, so uh, I don't know whether we will. That Dad will probably end up doing that. I've got to go shearing Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we've got to put some cedars, cedars in the ewes on Thursday, which is for AI, but um, I'll leave that for, for another video. You'll see that in that one. I'll talk a bit more about that. Yeah, we're about just over two weeks off AIing, so. the gate locky. Best thing about this mower, pull into a paddock through a gate, you're only two and a half meters wide or however wide it is. Pull the lever.
and you're in work mode. That's hands down the best thing about this mole. 3.6 metres wide and it'll go through any gate. And yeah, around our area, I think it's a really, really big advantage. So, nah, it's good. So you can see the stuff that I cut the other day, it's come back really well. And hopefully it gets above these thistles, which as you can see out there, there's a, there, there is a lot of thistles, um, especially down this end. But as I've talked about before, this end's always a bit lighter than, than down there. It gets pretty good down the other end. But no, we'll cut it up and put it into silage and hopefully make some good stuff for us. For the cattle and sheep, I'll chop it in the baler again, like I did with the oats. Just gotta narrow the windrows up a little bit, just a touch. All that does is just bring it, bring these flaps in a bit narrower and then it throws it into the center a bit more just so it's not as spread out. And try that. And you can see what the conditioner does to the stalk, just crimps it a little bit. I'm just checking to make sure it's got an even cut all the way across, which I think it does. By the look of it. So loose in here, want to make sure you're not cutting it too low and cutting the crown out of it. But I think I think that's pretty good, pretty good height there. Yeah, I think that's all right. You can see it's a fair bit better up this end. You can see the thistles are coming out in head now, so we really want to get onto this and, and cut it and get it into a bale before they, they set seed and then drop off. Just coming around to where it got a bit wet last time. We'll see how we go in here. Traveling pretty well so far. It's a lot already, I can see it's a lot drier than it was. Uh, so I think we'll have no troubles here. Bit of sorrel coming in here where it's been wet. It's just been such a battle. This was obviously the bit that we were going to try and re-sow this year, but um, there was points where we could have got on it. But I'm glad we didn't because it's it's been wet. Yeah, it's just just would would have done would have, we would have had the same trouble and the loosen wouldn't have grown again and and then we would have wasted just a lot just another lot of money. So we'll get on it eventually. It's just when I I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, I should say we won't do it this year. It'll be another spring, spring sowing next year, uh, hopefully. Getting through it here now. Just come out, just come out to check things, make sure everything is still going all right. Nothing's getting too hot. No, they're all good. Still cutting all right. Yep. So you can see over here what I mean by. Uh, getting rid of the thistles on the second cut. You can see how clean this next cut's gonna be. There's been a few thistles here, but you, like you can see as I'm going around the edge, it's just it's just as clean, <sighs> as clean as a bit of clover here. That's not a bad thing, but it's just as clean as anything. Like the loosen just sort of gets up above everything else and sort of oh, smothers it out. The reason there's so many thistles, I think, in in this first cut is just because grazing management. I think just grazed a little bit too long. And so it gave the thistles a bit of room to grow and yeah, now they're in it, but we'll get rid of them. You can't really spray them out unless you go and spot spray them, but we'll get rid of them just by cutting them, cutting them back again and being a bit smarter with grazing this year. So if you didn't know already, loosen, loosen's a perennial plant, which means it grows from the same, from the same plant every year. It doesn't have to, doesn't have to produce a seed, drop it off, then it germinate and grow again, unlike an annual. That's an annual, like your oats, wheat, all them. So the, these loosened plants that I'm cutting here right now, they, they come from the same seed that we came through and sowed a couple of years ago. So, and that's what I'm talking about with the crown. We don't want to cut the loosen too low and cut the crown out of it because that'll kill the loosen and then it won't grow again. If that, I hope that makes sense. This will keep growing from the same plant for the next However many years, as long as I think, as long as we look after it, from what I gather, 
Uh, it, it'll probably it'll probably get it'll just get thinner and thinner over time. Like the odd plant will die now, probably. Um, whether that's because it's too 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 short or it just gets smothered out or something. But hopefully it'll be in the ground here for for a long time. Whether that's five or six years or longer, I, yeah, I don't I don't exactly know, but. It's all about how you manage it and how you look after it, I think. Well, that's the bit we've been looking for. Well, that's good. It's, it's blowing a gale, so that, that's only helping. We'll just have to see how long we've got to leave it here for. Uh, before we can bail it up, that's the good thing about silage. You sort of got a bit of, bit of leeway, bit of room for if you did have to bail it. All of a sudden, if there was rain coming, you could. But we'll leave it as long as we can, because I don't think it's meant to be overly warm the next couple of days. Sort of 15, 17. So we'll just see how it goes. Probably a good thing that it wasn't sort of up to our knees. It was a little bit low. It's probably down here somewhere. So whether that, I don't know. I think that might have just been the sun. Not enough sun, so it didn't grow, grow as tall. But. It'll be good in the winter time anyway, or whenever we need it in the next drought. Make sure I put plenty of wraps on it. I am just going to poke over the other side of this wet bit here. There, it was a little bit left there, but it, I don't know whether it's going to be worth cutting or not. I'll just poke over and have a look. But you can see, like it is pretty dry now, and you really you could come through and 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 sow it again right now as it is. But you know, how much how much rain are we going to? How much more rain are we going to get? Like. You know, we could sow it now, a couple of weeks, we get two inches and then it floods and then it kills it again, drowns it again. So it's a hard one, but we'll just wait till next year now. Tell you what, it looks a lot better now it's cut, but it'll look even better when it's bailed and wrapped. So I might leave that video there guys, bit of a short one, but a bit of a catch up. Um, after the ram sale, just letting you know what's going on. We're shearing a few stud lamb, been shearing the um, young stud lambs, ram lambs, did a few this morning and then I'll probably go and do a few more um, now. So I might leave it there, just thought I'd do a little vid while I was in the tractor, doing nothing. <laughs> Gets a bit like that sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed that one and uh, with that we'll catch you in the next one. I'll leave you with this windy day. See you guys, bye.